Go. Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's the boy Kate DZ and the homie Tyler bringing you season two, week 42. Smack down. And we ready to party. Tyler, you ready to party, man? I'm ready to party. You know, every time that you do that intro, I'm literally lip syncing. <laughs> Trying to <laughs> <laughs> do what you say. Like, what is up, guys? It's your homie. <laughs> I literally lip sync as you're doing it yourself. Well, I appreciate it. I appreciate it, though. <laughs> yes, but I'm yeah. doing well. That's good. But this week, we're going to start SmackDown off with some in-ring talking. KD mm. stands in the center of the ring with the lights low and centered on him. The undisputed WWE Universal title laid in front of him. KD says that this was his purpose for coming to WWE, pointing at the title. He says when the decision was made that he know that that he knew he would become champion. Kumino knew it. That's why he signed him. Instantly becoming tag team champions with Okada proved it. Being in the Elimination Chamber match proved it. Both of those steps on the toes of those that had been here, busting their asses and apologizes to them now. He says the one he wants to apologize to the most is Swerve. Swerve music hits and he makes his way to the ring looking confident and complex. Katie tells Swerve that he never intended to steal his moment. And in fact, he is one of the people he wanted to face one on one. Swerve says there is no need to do that. And he wanted the same once he saw that KD was in WWE. KD then explained what happened last week. He spoke to Kumano about getting a match against MJF if Swerve would allow it. Swerve then says he was more than willing because KD has been straight up with him since his return and knew it would end in KD's victory. KD then extended his hand to Swerve and says at the next PLE, it will be the two of them going at it for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Swerve shakes his hand but is then blindsided by Naito and KD is attacked by JD Madonna. MJF joins in with a steel chair, beating both KD and Swerve with it. The rest of PBC rushes the ring, but MJF and Cole run through the crowd smiling as they do. MJF and Cole, the two bastards that betrayed Tyler Blade. That is right. That is right. Wait, that's, so this, I did not hear that right. You said MJF and Co, and I thought you meant MJF and Cole. No, 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 no. MJF Adam and Cole. Cole. <laughs> MJF and Co. But you did, you did. I mean, MJF, you know, and his people all screwed over Tyler Blade and Loaded Ammo. So it still makes sense. <laughs> yeah, for those guys. Yeah, Katie, you yeah, get those so, boys. Right, so the Pinnacle and PBC are still at each other's throat. What will Swerve do in this? Well, we'll have to stay tuned to find out. But we got our first action of the night. It will be Tony Storm taking on Isla Dunn for Money in the Bank qualifying. Wait, you call that Isla? I said, it wrong. Isla. I said it wrong. Oh, well, his timeless Tony Storm. <laughs> the, uh, um, the season one Royal Rumble women's winner. <laughs> you said that so unenthusiastically. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to think of what it's called again. There's Tony, yes, there's Tony Storm. She, she, season one. Miss. I mean, not Miss. Lord Jesus. Miss. Uh, Royal Rumble winner. I said it wrong. Look at you. Infectious. Anyway, <laughs> she went to WrestleMania and took on Billy Kay, but 
she did not win. Then her and her former tag team partner, Mia Young, faced off against one another for the Women's Liberty Championship. Tony Storm fell short there. But now, this is her time to get back in prime position to get back in timeless form and qualify for the Money in the Bank ladder match. Look at her. Right, the dramatics. <laughs> she is timeless. <laughs> the referee is like, what is going on here? Yes, yes. Little Nature is, is very curious about what Tony has going on. Why is she telling us to come to order? No idea. <laughs> but the timeless one is timeless. I would say just watch out for the shoe. Watch out for the shoe. <laughs> but then we got eyes lit on. Representing the unholy union. That's right, Isla Dawn in singles action. Looking to qualify for Money in the Bank. They didn't have an opportunity to become women tag team champions. But that is okay because with the Liberty title and the women's universal title, they both can be champions. Last season, Elba Fire was in the Money in the Bank letter match. Yes, she was. And now Isadol could be too. You know it. Isadol. The GOAT. Yes, I'm just enjoying her entrance. <laughs> oh, I'm enjoying the entrance. This man. Emma's trying to find the horses. Done. Let's go. Little Nate rings the bell. Come on. Oh, the time is one reversing. Nope. Yeah, she ain't got time for it. No. Oh my God. Right to yeah, the she got no time. I know that hurt. Take no elbow. Tone is dumb. Number five. I'm rolling to the outside. Ryan Allen getting involved. It was a like woman in the crowd howling. <laughs> well, that's, that's I mean, it, it is a lot of gluteus maximus in the ring. <laughs> that is correct. There, there is, especially on the side of the timeless one. Indeed. Oh my god. Tony Stone giving her the boot, sending her to the floor. And if you don't get the uh, Gluteus Maximus joke, then uh, go watch the Raw show. That is right. Mm -hmm. And the That's timeless happening. one being very vicious here tonight. Mm -hmm. oh, elbows, though. So, just how you asked me on Raw for the first match, I have to ask you for the first match of SmackDown. Who Clearly, you see it's going to be Thomas Tony Stone. But Alba Fire is grabbing well, a steel chair. Right, with the 10 beats of the battle. Yeah. Learned off Shameless. And the timeless one is feeling it now. But, like Tyler said, there is a chair in the ring. Alba Fire put it in. Will it come into play or will Lil Nates get it out? I think I forgot to change Tony Stone's moveset again. I think I put a yeah, little I, note I, down for I, myself. I, I see that. I'm I'm looking at her moves and I'm like, this is not what she does. I mean, I can see no. her doing that taunt she just did. Well, today Tiny Storm just decided to adapt to some of the other wrestlers on the roster. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, that's why she was doing a Kamagoye. You know, shout out to Kadabushi. Right, uh, they are friends. You know, they were in Japan together. Not in the same company, but you no. know, they, they hung it's out. Indeed. 
You know, maybe she is around DDV. I don't know. DDZ. Possibility. Possibility, you yeah. know. You know, maybe maybe Coda visited Stardom. Of course he did. It's it's photos of him, you know, being there. You know, him and Kenny. Yeah. You know, they were going to see um their good friend that um what's her name? <laughs> Uh, which one? Cause they're friends with, with with a lot of them. The um the first AEW Women's Champion. Oh, Riho. Yes. Yeah, Riho. <laughs> yeah, they were going to visit Riho, okay? <laughs> right. But this this action in the ring, though. Yeah, I, I don't know the turnbuckle again. Right. <laughs> it's a bigger cheater I mean, than AJ Styles. This is true, but. I was not taking advantage of it. She's not focused on that. She just want to deal damage one. to the Thomas one nope. one, and the Thomas one keeps kicking out at one. Yeah, baby. Oh my God, hopping off suplex into the pen. One, two. Oh, oh my God, she kicked out. Isla has to be wondering what it was going to take to keep the Thomas one down, but it looked like she has an idea. Nope, she got reversed. With that right. lariat, Tony Storm. Right, Tony Got Storm. Up. She ain't having Don't none of it. One, two. Oh, I was Storm's kicking out arrow. just in time. I say the storm driver. I mean, is that what it's called? <laughs> it's called Storm Zero. No, Storm Zero is the uh, the power driver. Oh, and maybe I was right. Wait, your why is this? Shout out to Nakamura, or Alice of Black. <laughs> right. The Go timeless the time, one is bro. being timeless yeah. by taking some moves from the greats. Yeah, well, that's stomp. Oh, <laughs> stomp from the top. One, what? two, three. Oh my God. And Tony Storm is going to the money in the bank pay per view and will be in the women's money in the bank ladder match. Shout out to Seth Rollins with the stomp from the top. Right, Tony Storm. Storm taking moves from the great and they worked out for just fine. One. All right, we just seen the timeless one qualify for the women's money in the bank ladder match. Good job, Tony Storm. Your acting was very on point in that match. But yes, indeed. It is it is time for some tag team action here tonight as we have the Street Profits go against the Usos. Against the Usos. You ready? From a Raw team, the Street Profits. That's right, making their way over to SmackDown. Hoping to see some prominence. I didn't pick up any this, gold this, last season. This isn't their entrance. The the music. Well, I don't know why they have this music. <laughs> Whose music is this? I have no idea. But that is not their music. <laughs> okay. Uh, just well, to yeah, they, songs, okay. I guess so. You know, they said, hey, maybe if we change the music up, maybe we can get some gold around our waist. <laughs> so what about the music you come to the ring with? <laughs> right. All, all about that music. All about that music. Let's go. Oh. Souls. I thought they were splitting up. Well, guys, uh, for those that are coming in just now, uh, if you go back in prior weeks, uh, you will find out that the bloodline did have a civil war in this universe. And uh, it was a bit reverse. Uh, Jay stayed with Roman while Jimmy sided with Naomi, his wife. Um, then The Rock came in and 
he actually brought everybody back together because Roman flipped out. Yeah. So the Usos are back in tag and team new, form. And they have a new tribal chief. That's right. There is a new tribal chief. Acknowledge him. And his name is not Solo Sokoa. No, it is not. It is not. <laughs> Yo, the Usos double super kick. Oh, already with some going off that tag team options. action. Usos. Jay's flying. Yeah, the Usos. They've been waiting to do this, baby. They've been waiting to be a team again. Waiting to see some action. And the prophet just so happened. Right now? What's the alliances with What's the bloodline right now? Who's with who? So they are with The Rock. The Usos are with The Rock. Solo, Solo and Naya are with Roman. Okay. Okay, what about Sammy? Oh, well, yeah, Sammy is with Roman. No, Sammy is, wait, I don't know. I, I don't know. Sammy. I, I guess, nah, he's with Roman. I guess Roman's with, the real drama. No, he, no, he with The Rock. Really? Sammy, Sammy with The Rock. Yeah, Sammy with The Rock. But, like, Sammy was close with, like, Paul and stuff. Well, see, you got to remember, like, when it happened, like, Roman flipped out on everybody. So, like, I'm going to put you like this. Like, Sammy still wants Roman as the tribal chief. Mm. Oh! Nice Sammy just wants everyone back together. Back together. I feel like Sammy yeah, loves Jay and Roman right equally. Together. Yeah. And like Dude, Jay's on one side and Roman's the on the other. Room. Yeah, so if, if Roman could be the tribal chief, great. He just wanted everybody back together, though. In which that's what everybody wants. That's that's why they went to Rock. That's why they, they, they went ahead and they were like, okay, we're rolling with you because we want this thing to be back together. We all want to be family. We want shit to be good. One, two. Yo, that was a close oh. count right there. Right, it, it really Jimmy was. Uso, though. Mm. All right, Montez made Jay up, pay for it. Why? Whisper in the wind. All right, Jimmy yeah. and busted open Dawkins. Let me pick up a big open win Dawkins a few weeks fighting ago out their corner. Sikoa. What's Doc. that? I said Jimmy picked up a big win a few weeks ago against Solo. That he did. It was supposed to be his brother, but they put a little bit of twin magic still in that from the Bella Twins. Twin magic. Right, Eggs but the prophets. Tests. Yeah. They realizing how serious stuff is. And they done got back into this match. Russell by Jimmy. Jimmy's got him in the corner. Ah, bro. Uh oh. What are we going to see here? Yeah, man. Still perplex. Mm. And Tez is hurting right now. Another hour. He keeping him in the corner, man. They're keeping Montez isolated right now. Mm. Mm. Yo, they know Angelo's a threat, okay? That man faced Aldrich for the Intercontinental title. That he did. Here's the reason why Angelo is busted open right now and was able to fight out of the corner. But Tez, he just can't seem to stay up on his feet. Makes the tag. Another double super kick. Mm. But Tez, ring IQ, rolling to the apron. Not getting far enough away, though. Into Gary. Right, Jay wiping Jay. out Dawkins. Oh, and Tez. Now, you would think the crowd would actually be cheering for them. Because <laughs> technically, they're not bad guys anymore. Like, they're not heels. We don't talk about that again. <laughs> the crowd is just a bit fickle today, okay? Right. Yeah, clearly. Clearly, they is. Yeah, it's been a while since the Usos have tagged together. Yeah, yeah. The fans are still getting rid of the groove, okay? I'm getting into the groove. Yeah, they're trying. They're trying. Montez fighting so, back, throws him back. Oh no, not into the ring. Yo, guys, you better oh, get counted out. Knee chop. 
I mean, chop block, not knee chop. Lord Jesus. <laughs> I don't know if the count is 15 or 20. Okay, it's 20. Do you? Yeah, is that it? Is is a count of 20? Tez back in the ring. Is Tez gonna allow for a count out? Yo, 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 Jay's back in the ring. Spare! Oh. Angela breaking it up though. Right, Dawkins. Yo. Stopping it. That spear came yo, out of Jay. nowhere. Jay with the disrespect. Bod says. Tagging him. Angelo Dawkins. Oh. Scoop slamming. There we go. Assisted splash. Angelo got him up. In the corner again. Tags in again. Right. They Listen, they're trying to put them away, man. Going over the t Oh, taking out Jimmy. Oh. The J roll to the outside oh, of the oh, ring. Oh, my, 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 Mont Montez, what are you? Okay. Montez couldn't figure out what he wanted to do. Sober kick. Mm. He should have went ahead and did it, though. He shouldn't have second guessed himself. He shouldn't have. My costume. Yeah, because he, he just paid new. for it, man. Yo, the Fando said he's so weak. <laughs> Whoa! One, two, Angela will. The mods inside right, of the way. Get a tag. No, I thought Jay was going to go for a tag. He is now. Knock Tez off the ring apron now. Oh, and Jimmy just took out <laughs> Dawkins. And the to profits ring. get back to rolling, man. Jimmy, Silver Kick. Got him up. Throws him no reversal by Montez. Close on. All right, Tiz able to reverse. Trying to get rid of Jay. And he does. Out. Can he put Jimmy away here? Well, it definitely won't be like that. Frog Splash. Into the pen. One, two, no. Oh. He has almost picked up splash. the victory. Got him in the corner. Yo, over the top. All right, running yes. block, Wester. Top rope, Montez Ford, Frog Splash. Is this it? One, two, no. Oh, it was out. almost suck it, over suck it, suck it. With. Yeah, Vontaze got wild. Toss him in the corner. Right. Make a tag. Here we go. Damn. Take us to tagging. Wow. How is he able to get over there? <laughs> Mr. Vontaze has to roll up. Ooh. Like he, he got smashed. Yeah, he's going flying. And immediately got over there to Jay. Trust now Jay power. putting adrenaline back into their veins. Now Montez gets the tag in. Montez, it's Jay Uso. Got him in the corner. No Montez with the reversal. He's taking out Jimmy. This could be the time. Right. Tez, what are you doing? What are you looking for, Tez? This is this is your opportunity. This is your chance, man. I don't know what he's doing. He's stopping on him. Well, I, I guess he just wanted to take Jimmy out because uh, <laughs> he is not trying to put Jay away. Not right now. Got him in a tree of low position. Ain't. Shimmy, shimmy. Like a second, second. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess the Prophets and the Usos, you know, they never patch things up. I guess it's still bad blood between them. I guess so. Oh. Montez arrest that. Yeah, them point handles. Back suplex. Mm. Smacking his head on the back of the apron. Montez flips back in the ring. Going after Jimmy. Hot shotting him. Eggs and angels. Egg and dogs. 
Dogs Yo. getting fired up. Okay. I thought Dogs about to fly. A spear! No! Spear himself! One, two, no! Oh my god! Dogs almost picked up a win with a spear! This Him. match has gone much longer than the Royal Tag Team match. Yeah, it, it definitely has. But in all honesty, like this has not been a bad match. No, it has not. Irish up in the corner. Bodog him. Who's my choice? Right, Angelo getting, ain't done. Right, he's feeling mm. it. Eggs and Tez, though. Right, here go, go Tez. Roll up. One, two, three. Wow. The Usos win with the roll up. Yo. The Usos with the roll up. Small package. Wow. What a steal by the Usos. Oh my God. Well, I mean, you know the Rock got to be happy, but does this make Roman happy? That is the I don't question. Know. I can't speak for Roman. Right. Only the tribal chief knows how he feels. What? All right. We just seen the Usos pick up a victory after a long time of not teaming with each other over the Street Profits. But now, after commercial break, we cut to in the ring where the New Day are out and hyping up Kofi's win over Adam Cole and that he and Big E will be going against each other at Money in the Bank. Big E then turns to Kofi and Woods to tell them he is sorry for how he has been acting lately. He says it is just frustrating to be a former WWE champion but to have failed over and over at becoming a champion again. Kofi walks to him and says he understands, and that is why he will fight him for the United States title. Wood says he can't relate to being top champion, but knows the feeling too of coming up short for singles gold. They all hug. The UE music hits, and Adam Cole tells E that Kofi and Woods are full of it and don't care about his happiness. But he does. Adam mm -hmm. says he and E have been talking for weeks. And the that weeks. he told E. Yeah. He told E that they just want to keep him around for protection. Because they are nothing without him. Wood jumps in. Reminding Cole that Kofi just beat him. So if they are nothing, then that must, then Adam must not even exist. And they are all daydreaming. Bobby Fish then says Woods is nothing and he has proven that. Kyle says it was Woods fault he and E lost the last match against him. Woods look remorseful. Kofi tells Adam he will put him in his place again next week. Big E looks at Kofi shocked as Adam smirks and says see you then. Oh my, Kofi Kingston versus Adam Cole next week? Yep. Oh my. So, stuff going Adam has yet again tricked Kofi into facing him. United States title match. Next week, Kofi already promised E a title match. Yeah, what if Kofi loses? Does he not get right. does Big E not get his title match anymore? That is a good question. Because that that's why E is uh looking shocked. He's like, how can you promise him a title match next week when we supposed to be fighting at the pay-per-view? I guess Kofi just really believe in himself, but we will have to see what will happen. So tune in next week. But now it is time for the third match of the night. And we got a little faction warfare as we got Pinta El Zero taking on Roderick Strong. 
You know Death what? Triangle. Undisputed Era. Let's go. Let's get it on. Saddle. Metal. Metal. Saddle. Metal. There it is. The Death Triangle. Penta Al Zero Metal accompanied by Pac, the Bastard, and Ray Phoenix. That's right. These guys are looking good together. You know, Pac, a former Universal Champion, the Luigi Brothers former Tag Team Champions. Former two-time Tag Team Champions, might I add. Ooh, oh. Starting off here on SmackDown, staying on SmackDown. But tonight, Penta is looking for some solo action. Okay, this is a generic theme song. Right, I was just about to say song. that. Okay, I need a... I need a right in here. Fix UE theme song. I think all the theme songs got fucked up again. Yeah, that's the, the way that is looking. Um, yeah. Some we have to go to that. It's pretty easy to go and put them all in here, but yeah, I don't know why. But okay. And which, guess, uh, uh, that's something that I got to do. That's I, I, I knew it was a reason that I was delaying the cartel universe. Uh, I got to download all of the songs again. Hey, bro, this one's great. Look at that mustache, though. Right. I was looking at that as he came out, but Roderick Strong. Looking to get into some action here on SmackDown, making his SmackDown debut. Yeah, he's a former for one half of the Royal Tag Team Champions in a previous season. The previous season. That is right. Let's get it on. Oh, nice dodge by Penta as Roddy just eats a splash. Penta is no reverse by Roddy Stank. No, missing your knee. Oh, stuck in the Pinto. tree wall and Penta. Oh, this is backstabbing. Right, Penta is looking fantastic as Roderick is struggling to get out of the gate. Mm. Cross body. Kyle is looking a bit dejected here. In the corner. Penta, what are you looking Penta for? Is, oh is my god, doing a good job of uh, picking Roddy apart, man. Jeez, he is. Got him up. Brain Buster. Mm. Yeah, that is not going to help Roger get into this matchup, most definitely. Mm. Oh, super kick to the gut. Penta with all Roger. the moves. One. <laughs> Roger yeah, at one least count, able to though. kick oh out God. at one. Yeah. And we do know Roger Strong, he is a fighter. Send the outside. Like, Penta over the top. <laughs> yeah, but if Penta keep going the way that he is, I don't think Roderick will last long. Oh, there we, there we go. go. Roderick there we go. trying to get there in. There we go. Right, Roddy finally uh, finding some offense. There we go. Yeah, Roderick loosening himself up. Get the blood yeah, back pumping. Breaker. Another backbreaker. Right, he is the messiah of the backbreaker, that is. Sending Penta back into the ring. Yo, fix that time mark. I think Kyle Riley did that. Roderick's on top rope. Oh, clothesline. Another a steel chair. Yo, UE, you need to calm down. Right, yeah, I don't. Look, listen, maybe they, they just want Roddy to win. But that is not the way to go about it. Hmm, close on by Roderick Strong. Finally getting some good action. Right, Roderick. Can we see he's smart? Taking his time. Yeah. Like, this is his pacing. A more slower, methodical pace. Yeah, maybe that was the plan. Just have Penta do a bunch of attacks at first to lose his stamina. One. You know what? That, nope. That's a strong possibility. Because right now, Roderick is in... Clear control. Oh. Comes behind Penta. Out block. 
Northern Light. Yo, yo, Penta's about to break the arm. Penta stepping oh. back. Oh, making Roddy pay. One, two. That was almost yeah. it for Roger. Yo, he doesn't like his arm broken, okay? Oh, drop kick. Yo, Bobby's under Bobby, the Oh, my God. Doing? Penta. Over the top like that. And Penta's filling in now. Yo, Bobby's distracting. Right, Penta looking like he want to smack the shit out of Yo, Bobby. But he's getting back to his feet. He's going to take advantage. Backbreaking. Um. And see, that's what friends are for. Oh, no. Oh, but Penta. But he wasn't yeah, having none of no it. No elbow. Rose so kind of a apron. Oh, my God. Strong's got him out to his feet. Got a hold of him. Penta's escaping. All right, referee up to a count of 10. Neither one of these men want the other in control. Oh my god, what a power. Oh, good wrench. 14. Yo! Roderick Strong picking up a count out victory over Penta. Well, Roderick did say that he was smarter. And it was just that. Roderick Strong outsmarted Penta L Zero and picked up a count out victory. Well, a win is a win in his book. All right, guys, we just seen Roderick Strong pick up a victory over Penta L Zero via yeah. count out. Oof. Yeah, yeah. you got to know uh, Death Triangle is not going to take that one sitting down. But it's time to move on to the next women's Money in the Bank qualifying match. We got Athena taking on Anna J. Is that what we got? Another. Yeah, another caked up match. Wait, well, another, another, Olympias? another glutastic match. Is it playing a theme song? It's not playing a theme song, is it? No, no theme song. <laughs> Game, what the? F <laughs> Yo, I have no idea. Again. Seriously, but yeah, seriously. But there go Athena, someone who's always been on the by cuspids of uh, a title. This is her opportunity to gain an opportunity to become Gluteus, a champion. Yes, Gluteus Maximus on point. Love that we're calling it that. <laughs> and she has Eddie Kingston theme song. Oh my god. What the hell? <laughs> she is not the Mad King. No, but no, here no, she, comes no, she's not. Anna J. <laughs> yeah, she is not the Mad King, ladies and gentlemen. But Anna J is looking to become a queen in this ring by advancing to the Money in the Bank ladder match and winning. That money in the bank ladder match. And another glutastic competitor. Athena. Anna J. Let's get, Let's it, get it on. <laughs> well, Athena came out. That. Right. Athena came yeah, out yeah, hot, yeah, but yeah, it really yeah, got put into a submission. <laughs> right, like what the hell? What the fuck? <laughs> Lena, what are you cooking? I mean, end of day. No, I, what no idea. Cooking? I think they yeah, got Athena the making her pay for it. Like, how dare you choke me, you heifer? <laughs> oh, nice kick to the side of the dome and alley you cover one, two. Athena yeah, almost I gotta get BRB. I gotta get BRB. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, and Athena is on fire now. 
She came out of the blocks hot, instantly almost got choked out. Oh, was doing good up until Anna J decided to reverse. Anna J delivering them hands. Irish whipping to the corner. Now, in all honestly, oh, this match got put together because both of these ladies are top tier in the ring. Anna J has greatly approved over the years, while Athena has been killing it for a very long time. Figured both of these women are best suited to compete against one another to see who deserves a spot in the ladder match for the SmackDown side. And a, oh, stumping the gut. And they're doing a good job of being in control of Athena right now. Athena, former NXT Women's Champion. The uh, former Women's Tag Team Champion here in the KT Universe. So Athena is oh, hoping to go to Money in the Bank, climb up the ladder, grab the briefcase, and become Miss Money in the Bank. Because here on SmackDown, land of opportunity, anybody can become, uh, can become champion at any given moment. And they would have big boot one. No, they're kicking out of one. Yeah, anybody can become a champion. Oh, oh, scissor kick. Is this it? Middle of the ring. One, two. No, Dina's still in this, but barely. Oh, trying to choke Athena out in the middle of the ring. Athena powering out. Athena looking to capitalize. Oh! That was a nice stiff kick to the face. Athena. Oh, frog splash cover. One. Two, no, Anna J kicking out, staying in this thing. Which one of these ladies will go to money in the bank? Oh, oh, the mission. But Anna able to fight back out of this. Irish whip. Oh, another super kick. Nope. Oh, reverse DDT by Anna J. Nice reversal there. Cover. One, two, three. And Anna J is victorious over Athena. Oh my God. It's not really one of those upset stories, but Athena had to definitely be a favorite. But Anna J is going to money in the bank joining the timeless tony storm and uh who is uh, uh jay cargill there we go jay cargill tony storm and anna J. those are the three of the names that will be in the money in the bank ladder match for the women at money in the bank pay-per-view
Wow. I was figuring that Tyler would be back by now, but clearly he is not. I don't know where he went to. Uh, but I was uh, trying to think when when the next time I will actually be streaming. Um, I could possibly do something tomorrow, maybe, depending on scheduling and, and stuff of that nature. Because um, I get off at 6 tomorrow. Um, so if I do jump on, uh, it'll probably be around 7, 7.30ish, somewhere around that point. Uh, maybe 8 at the latest. Uh, and continue to the Wayne Johnson run uh, in Scarlet and Violet, uh, the the rock type uh, run that we got going on that we I have going on uh, that playthrough uh, beat the Kitakami story sort of kind of uh, got Ogre Pond and you know finished the story over there so now you know time to head back to mainland uh, all right, we just seen Anna J qualify for the women's Money in the Bank ladder match, but now it is time to head to Roman Reigns' office and see what the OTC is up to. Solo walks in to the frame, getting ready to leave for his match. Roman tells Solo to make sure he wins tonight and show everyone that they are the ones that leads the family. Solo nods then walks out. Roman then looks to Nia and tell her to go get the Liberty title to show she is the dominant woman in the family. Nia tells Roman of course and walks out as well. Roman then asks if Paul has any news on the rock. Paul tells him that the Wayne is at home recovering from the beating last week. Roman smiles and tells Paul to let everyone know that next week they need to meet him in his ring to acknowledge him. Well, there you have it, Roman. Being the OTC, he want to have the family acknowledge him. So he's sending out Solo and Naya to prove that they are the true bloodline and the heads of the family. But now it is time. To move into the fifth match of the night, in which you just heard a bit of it. This is the last qualifying match for the SmackDown side to join the men's Money in the Bank ladder match. We got Solo Sokoa taking on Carmelo, in which, a uh, quick side note, uh, I had accidentally <laughs> wrote uh, Carmel. Carmel. Um, Hayes. Yep. Yeah. But Carmelo <laughs> Hayes, Kazuska Okada. Damian Priest and Tetsuya Naito. Yo, remember when you didn't know how to say Kazuchka and I had to? I know, right? It, you want to know? You want to know how I did it? Practice. Oh. I shit you not. Practice. I, I just, That's I, how you get good yeah. at anything. Practice. Yeah, I just kept practicing and practicing and practicing. I still don't feel as confident, but practice. <laughs> don't worry, you said it good. Okay, who's of these guys are gonna join Bray Wyatt, Kenny Omega, and Will Ospreay on the SmackDown side for Money in the Bank? Mm-hmm. Hmm. If be? I had to pick, let's find out. If I had, if I had to pick, I would say I would want, I would want Okada. <laughs> I'm gonna beg. I'm gonna say Carmelo Hayes. Yeah, he would be my second pick. Okay. You think the rules? By pinfall. Yeah. Submission. The match continues until one superstar remains, and that superstar will be declared the winner. Know the rules, boys. That's right. Those are the rules for this gauntlet match. Coin drop. And it's starting off Kazushka Okada. I'm sorry, <clears throat> Tyler, you gotta say it the way that you say it. The Rainmaker Kazuchika Okada. There we go. Okada. 
representing PBC coming yeah. out to the ring looking to qualify for money in the bank while wow, being the first in that is a heavy burden to carry do Indeed you think Okada can go the whole way Yo, I think if anyone can do it, it's this man. He's gone to 60 minutes before. He's gone through G1 climaxes day in and day out. This man's got the stamina. Nightbot definitely sucks, Icy. <laughs> it's stopping other people in the chat from um, sending in their own um, Twitch channels on. Some kind of link. Never was like no better. Yo, who is this? Oh, Naito. <laughs> I didn't know Naito's theme song. Wow. Two Yo, Naito and Okada. Right. Pinnacle versus right. PBC. There you go. <laughs> who would have thought that uh, we would have had this <laughs> to start Yo. things off? PBC versus Pinnacle. And keep in mind, Okada already has a victory over Naito. Mm. Yep. So I guess, like, in a way, Naito would be looking for revenge. But at the same time, like, you got to know it messes with him that he's lost to this man before and already going up against him first. Well, well, Naito, Okada off. starting it off, man. Oof. Let's go. Ring the bell. Okada, Naito. Throws him in the corner. Elbow. Right, and these two, they know each other so well, man. The time oh. over in New Japan. Like I said, like just a few weeks ago. They had a matchup where Okada was victorious. Yo, Okada's working Naito on Naito was calling Okada and KD broken losers. Mm. But since then, PBC has been on a roll by the pinnacle. Well, not so much. PB facts. Yo. Oh, yeah, no disqualifications. I guess Okada decided right, to get to though. Yeah, Okada said, no, nah, no, nah, this is beneath me. I don't need to go that far. I wish I got him in the corner. Naito with some elbows. Right, staying on top of Okada. One, two. Looking to get Okada out of here fast. Yo, what the hell's he got? Barbed wire. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Naito just took a barbed wire bat to Okada's Yo, he's in again. In the pin. One. Well, so Jim, this is elimination until last man standing. And we already That's got our right. third participant. Two. One. And it's Damian Bruce of the Judgment right, the, Day. Right, the Judgment Day. The punishment of the Judgment Day. Damien Priest looking for his time to shine. Naito's out to take him out. Right, and Priest already laid out on the outside of the ring. It's not looking good for him. Drop gun, drop kick. Yo, I'll got to use it. Oh my oh, god, he, he threw it in his oh, face. He just threw it. He kept missing him. So he just Still threw stone. it. Oh. Cover! One, two. <laughs> Yo, oh, is Naito able to hang in. Super kick. Oh! Into the pin Okada. One, two. Oh no, I know that one count. Oh, my god. No, well, if Priest is gonna make something happen, uh this match would be that style for him to be able to mm. take advantage mm. of the chaos. Mm. Mm. Damian Priest has not had a good run uh, here in the KT universe. No, he has not. God has gotten Every in the other member of the Judgment Day has been a champion mm. at least once. That did be facts. Yo, he just threw in a trash. Light is going to stop the finisher. 
Come on, like side walk slam. But he's not pinning Okada. He's pinning Damian Priest. Warning. Well, nope. I mean, that was one way to go. Get rid of the weakest link. But like I said, Damian Priest oh. has not had a good showing here on SmackDown season one and even the start Come of season two. Right, but hey, now us. Molly go right after Damian Priest. Nice of getting a hand of him too. Oh my god. Damian Priest. Right, Priest wiping out both of them. And throwing Naito in the trash. <laughs> Jesus. Priest let up. Oh my god. Rainmaker. Rainmaker. One, two, three. No. Priest able to kick out just in time. Yeah, Molly got that bar by back. Match. Oh no, he doesn't get him up. Back to Blix. Melo's taking a right, shot. Right, Melo don't miss. He's looking to make his name here in this match. Oh, oh God. Can he become Melo in the bank? That is what Melo's he's looking up. for. In the bank. We only got one, one more person to join two. this match. And I can't lie, it's some big names in this match. Okada, Naito. I if God, that bump. Oh, if Carmelo can win this matchup. That would definitely shoot him to start him. Jesus. Yo, Paul Heyman pulled some strings to get Solus to kill the last man. He he must have. Oh my god, the candlestick. I mean, it makes sense. Miller's pinning. And one. Two, three, Naito's out. Naito is eliminated. Melo getting rid of Tetsuya Naito. Oh my God, oh my God. South of heaven. Mm, south of heaven, choke slam. One, two, One, two. no, Melo's on it. No, Melo's still in this thing, but here comes Solo Sokoa. Oh my God. But Priest is handling him. The Tribal Chief has sent Solo out here to win this match. Oh my lord. And Solo getting into the mood of things, bringing in a ladder. Oh, and Okada with the, the weapons. table and he just jumped it at Damien Priest. <laughs> this match is crazy. Solo, what's a moment drop? Drop kick by Okada. Oh, drop kick. Pinning Mello. Cover. One, two. <laughs> Mello is almost gone. Oh, money clipper. Oh my God, this is chaos. Thought about anything? No. 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 Okada stopped it. In the oh my God, he just got super kick. Damien Priest wiping out Okada. Yo, Damien's going wild. Shot Okada, though. Oh, an assassin. Right, a foot for a oh, foot, no. man. Oh, oh. Mellow in the pen. One, two. No. Wow, the chaos in this one, man. It is real. Oh, it's Solo and Okada. Now Solo got Okada by himself. Oliver Swift. No, oh, Okada DDT. reversed it. Oh, no. What was Mellow going for? Mellow was going for a spear? I think so. Rainmaker! Yo, that's it. That's it for Solo. One, two, three. Yo, Solo. No, Solo still so hanging in this. Oh, God, it's not going for Mello. Mello's escaping. Oh, Mello. Damien Priest is taking his time. Hey, that is that is a smart thing to do. Back Damien right Priest, now. like I said, like, if he could take advantage of the chaos. Oh. Solo's a mode drop. Be victorious in this matchup, that'd be fantastic. But you gotta get through all of these guys. Look at the weapons. I see. And your priest going between everyone. Got solo, chucking him in the pin. One, One two, two. No. No matter what are you doing with that. Oh my god, he just put his face in his dragon! Wow. Cover. 
Dude. Oh my god, he kicked out. Solo in the pen. Wh wh Solo cheated. Was it broken up? Solo cheated to clear Okada. You wow. got the Yoni Solo got rid of Kazusuke Okada. Well, that was the Tribal Chief. The Tribal Chief sent him out here to win this match. Yo, he got a foot on the ropes. So, though. two of the biggest that names are gone. Yo, Damien Priest. Bello said, fuck it, I'm gonna go after Priest. Close on. Right, Melo is on fire now. Melo One of is these three him. guys, they will be going to Money in the Bank. Melo's just him. He's pinning up that scoop, Sam. One, two. <laughs> no, Priest Solo. still kicking no. out. Melo is on fire. I am knees. Oh my God, Priest. Oh, wow. Did you see the force behind that kick? One, two. I saw it. Oh, my Lord. My man sent Priest. Melo flying. <sighs> oh, that's it. No, yo, he's yo, not that. done This is him. it. This is it. Sound of heaven. heaven. Oh, my God. Solo saved it. <laughs> Solo just saved Carmelo Hayes. He's, now he's putting Melo. He's going to win it. One, two, three. Solo Sokoa. Wow. Hey, the tribal chief sent him out here to win. <laughs> he sent him on a mission. And what did Solo do? He did it. He, he won the match. He, Solo is going to money in the bank. He will be joining Bray Wyatt, Kenny Omega, and Will Ospreay from the SmackDown side heading to money in the bank. Wow. I'm flabbergasted. I really am. Wow. That's crazy. I will love. Okay. Yo, in a crazy upset, Solo Sokoa has qualified for the Money in the Bank ladder match. Wow, that was a crazy matchup. But we head backstage and we see Mia Yim coming from Kumo's office when Nia Jack walks up. Nia asks if Mia is keeping the Liberty title warm for her. Mia laughs and says it's funny that she believes she can win a title when she has lost every championship match she's had. Naya gets in Mia's face and asks her to say it again. Bailey comes out the office and says this is perfect. Naya looks confused as Mia smiles hard. Bailey tells Naya that next week she will get to face Mia for the Liberty Championship. Naya looks happy and tell Mia that she will show her who can win big matches. So Solo just won after the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns told him to go win. He yep. told Naya to go get the Liberty Championship. And in all honesty, Naya didn't even have to try hard, but she's going to have a title match next week. Can Nia Jax beat Mia Yim or will Mia remain the Liberty Champion? Tune in next week and find out. But now it is time for the main event. Main event. We got the Women's Universal Champion Sasha Banks taking on Rhea Ripley in a non-title match. Let's go. It's yo, my boots all the time. Right, Rhea Ripley, the eradicator of the Judgment Day. We just seen Damian Priest in the last match. Who? I, I mean, you can't say he was cheating. Three. Right, he was in the last three. You know, like that's still I mean, a good look. <laughs> He, he did south of heaven Carmelo Hayes and then Solo stole the pen. That's right. So maybe maybe the judgment day can get back on track with a win here tonight. 
if Rhea could beat the women's universal champion. We know Jesus Argueta already has a world heavyweight championship match at Money in the Bank. Maybe Rhea can get a right. championship match herself. Right, that is the purpose of this match. Rhea wanted some action. Sasha wanted some action. Well, Rhea wanted the, that title around her waist again. So if Rhea could beat Sasha here, you got to know you will see them at Money in the Bank. But here comes the boss. The WWE Women's Universal Champion. Yes, y'all. Bailey, Sasha went to Bailey, her good friend, her best friend, and requested that she be put in action. She doesn't like just sitting on the sidelines. She wants to be a fighting champion. And Bailey granted that for her. No offense to Sam Rio. Yeah, I, I I hear them. They're strongly behind Rhea. They love them they, some mommy. They love them mommy glutes. That they do. Damn, Sasha. Hold on. Rhea, no inside kick by Sasha. But the boss, in her time away, she's traveled the globe and wrestled many of people. Had to confront many of different styles. Sasha's showcasing what she learned and what she can do. Still paying homage to Eddie Guerrero. Latino Heat. The real one. That's right. Not Jesus. Not Jesus. Sasha Meteor. Right, wiping Rhea out. Now Rhea's a former SmackDown Women's Champion here too. That's right. Rhea is the one who dethroned Oscar. Hmm. You by Sasha on the ropes. I'm going off of the arm. Stop it at the fingers. Right, and Rhea has been assessing over that mm. title ever since she lost it, unable to uh, recapture it. Yeah, it's crazy but that the she has to pay. Yeah. <laughs> But Judgment Day has all been uh, focusing on gold to hmm. show that they run WWE. Oh. Jesus will be facing World Heavyweight Champion Sami Zayn oh. in a triple threat match at Money in the Bank. Sasha Banks, I worship no reversal. Damien hmm. Priest just fell short of qualifying for money in the yeah, bank. Where's Sam Balor at? Rhea has op. Ben is in the clubhouse. He he he's giving them more support. He says his time oh. will come. I heard he was talking to Carlito on the phone. Oh yeah, him and Carlito are great friends. That that was just what TP told me. Uh, yeah, you know TP's got all the news outlets. But see, what TP fed to realize is it was a conference call between uh, all three of us. Mm. Oh, so you were there too? Yes. Oh, interesting, interesting. Okay. Well, mommy's got her up. Right, Rhea destroying Sasha on the outside of the ring by slamming her head into the barricade while in a sit-down powerbomb position. Jesus Christ, but the boss is back up. Mm. Mm. Rhea Ripley brings her up to her feet. Chop, slap, come behind, hopping off suplex. Mommy's Sasha starting Banks, to feel it now. Close on. Right. Got her leg, sweeping it. Sasha getting fired back up. Cover. One. Wow. That was a powerful kick out there. It? No. Rhea stopping the bankrupt into a net breaker. Right, you saw the muscles. Mommy is cock strong. Indeed. These two are going yeah, at it, man. Look at the power. 
That's say right. this is a, a good yeah, match. Real 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 head the real top. the frog splash. Shout out to Eddie. One, wow. two. You got to know Sasha is not going to take kindly to that one. Roll up. Oh. One, two. No. Oh, come on. Yeah, her right there by Sasha. Working on that arm. Oh my god, back statement. Will Rhea so tap? No, Rhea just gave yeah. her elbow. We just said that's nothing. How about you catch a rip die? Rip shot! Rip shot! Is this it? In the pin. One, two. Oh no. No. The women's Sasha universal Banks. champion kick it out. But how much longer can Sasha hang on? Sasha Banks got the arm. Mm, kick right to the back. Got the arm again. All right, she is definitely yeah, working the arms of Rhea. She's a work and she's on. Brings you up to her feet. Mm, mm. You're a pin up a cup. Yeah, the pin. One, two. Yo, what the fuck? Wow. And your winner is the ball, Sasha Banks. Wow, okay. Sasha defeating Rhea Ripley. Well, Rita, uh, I'm sorry, but the Judgment Day just can't seem to get the job done. Not here on SmackDown, no way. Nope, not Damian Priest, not Rhea Ripley. Maybe Finn Balor when he returns, you know, when he gets off the couch <laughs> in the clubhouse. Maybe he can do some stuff. Indeed. Or maybe the Judgment Day needs to, you know, unify together a little bit. Maybe Rhea needs to have a chat with, you know, her ex hubby, <laughs> Jesus. That's a possibility too. But or, or maybe, or maybe talk to her real husband and invite him closer to Walter. That's a possibility as well. But for right now, the boss is doing boss things, closing the show, and being yeah, victorious. Who? I wonder who will be her next challenger. Who will be her challenger at Money in the Bank? Yep, you have to tune in next week to find out. Okay. Okay. Well, that's it, ladies and gentlemen, for week 42. Some macadam over me. That's enjoy. right. It's if you in the book. Smash that like button. Subscribe. And uh, we're on the road to Money in the Bank. So enjoy the ride. Indeed.